the given equation in the problem statement can be written as c0 plus c1 times c1 plus c2 and so on and so forth till cn minus 1 plus cn divided by the product of c1, c2 and so on till cn is equal to n plus 1 raised to the power n divided by n factorial. This can also be written as c0 plus c1 upon c1 times c1 plus c2 upon c2 and so on and so forth till cn minus 1 plus cn upon cn is equal to n plus 1 raised to the power n upon n factorial. Or in other words, 1 plus c0 upon c1 times 1 plus c1 upon c2 times and so on 1 plus cn minus 1 upon cn is equal to n plus 1 whole raised to the power n upon n factorial. Now the general term on the left hand side is equal to 1 plus ck minus 1 upon ck. This is equal to 1 plus n choose k minus 1 upon n choose k which can be written as 1 plus n factorial divided by k minus 1 factorial times n minus k plus 1 factorial multiplied by k factorial times n minus k factorial divided by n factorial. n factorial cancels and the other terms simplify resulting in 1 plus k divided by n minus k plus 1 which is equal to n minus k plus 1 plus k divided by n minus k plus 1. k cancels in the numerator and the whole expression simplifies to n plus 1 divided by n minus k plus 1. Now set k is equal to 1, we get the first term on the left hand side which is 1 plus c0 upon c1 and this is equal to n plus 1 divided by n. Put k is equal to 2, we get the second term on the left hand side which is 1 plus c1 upon c2 and this is equal to n plus 1 divided by n minus 1. Similarly put k is equal to 3, the third term in the product on the left hand side is equal to n plus 1 divided by n minus 2, so on and so forth. Put k is equal to n, the last term in the product on the left hand side is equal to n plus 1 divided by 1. Now take the product of all of these equations. On the left hand side we get 1 plus c0 upon c1 times 1 plus c1 upon c2 and so on and so forth times 1 plus cn minus 1 upon cn is equal to on the right hand side n plus 1 upon n times n plus 1 upon n minus 1 times n plus 1 upon n minus 2 and so on and so forth times n plus 1 upon 1. The numerator is equal to n plus 1 raised to the power n and note that the denominator is equal to n factorial. And this is the required result.